This is Grade 5 Math, Chapter 5.2, Simplifying Algebraic Expressions. Let's begin. Today we're going to learn how to simplify algebraic expressions using only one variable. When you're simplifying those kinds of algebraic expressions, you can think about it as repeated addition. Uh, remember how you can think of, say, 2 times 5 as 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2? When we're simplifying algebraic expressions, we're going to use a very similar process. For example, let's say we have uh, a stick that is a centimeters long, and we have another stick that is also a centimeters long right next to it. Uh, if we wanted to know the total length of the two sticks together, we have two possible ways to solve, right? We could take a plus a, or a times 2, both of which would give us two a's. Voila! We just simplified our algebraic expression. a plus a is 2a, or a times 2 is 2a. Okay. Let me show you another example. Let's say we have three sticks, each b centimeters long, and we want to know the total length of the three sticks together. Well, we'll add these. b plus b plus b equals one, two, three b's. The other way to figure this out would be three times b, which is the same, we learned yesterday, as three b's. So once again, we simplified b plus b plus b, or three times b, to just three b. Let me show you one more example. This drawing shows five sticks, each are centimeters long. What is the total length of the five sticks? Well, we'll take r plus r plus r plus r plus r equals five r's. Or five times r equals five r centimeters. Now that you've seen three examples, simplify these five problems on your own. Write it as the number times the variable in this format, say 2x, okay? Press pause while you work, and when you come back, we'll look at like terms. Now let's learn to add like terms. Let's simplify the expression a plus 2a. a and 2a are called the terms of the expression. We call a and 2a like terms because they're both multiples of a. So to simplify a plus 2a, we simply visualize them as a plus a plus a, 1a, 2a's, to give us 3a. So the simplified version of a plus 2a is 3a. Let's try another one together. Now let's add or simplify 2a plus 3a. If we have 2a's and we're adding 3a's, it simply becomes 5a. Remember, 2a really means a times 2 or a plus a. 3a really means 3 times a or a plus a plus a, which gives us one, two, three, four, five a's. Five a is our answer. Now try a few on your own. Simplify each of these expressions by adding like terms. Press pause while you work, and we'll move on to a new idea when you're finished. Now let's explore how we can subtract like terms. Let's begin by evaluating the expression a minus a. Well, a minus a will give us zero, correct? If we only have one a and we take an a away, we don't have anything left. So even though we're working with variables instead of numbers, the answer is still zero. Now let's try another. That would be 3a minus a. Okay, so let's think about what does 3a mean? Our coefficient or our number before the variable 
is 3, so 3 times a. That means we have a plus a plus a. And then we're going to subtract an a. Well, we know that this part right here, a minus a, equals 0. Correct? So we only have a plus a left, giving us an answer of 2a. The other way you can think about this is 3a minus a. That a has an invisible 1 in front of it. And then you can think, hmm, I'm going to subtract the coefficient 1 from this coefficient 3, giving me two a's. Okay? It doesn't matter which way you think about it, both ways work. Do whatever works best for your brain. Now let's simplify 4a minus 2a. Once again, you can think about this one of two ways. You can either consider 4a as a plus a plus a plus a minus a minus a, because we have two a's that we're subtracting away, which gives us two a's, right? 1 plus 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3, plus 1 is 4, minus 1 is 3, minus 1 is 2. So we have two a's left. The other way we can think about this is we have a coefficient of 4, a coefficient of 2. We subtract the 2 from the 4 to get 2 and put our a back on to give us 2a. Simplify these problems on your own. Remember, combine the like terms. You can use either method that you prefer, either stretching these out to treat them like repeated addition or repeated subtraction, or simply use the coefficients to calculate the differences. Press pause while you work, and we do have another idea right after this one. Now let's take a look at using order of operations to simplify algebraic expressions. So we have an expression here that says 6a plus 3a minus 2a. So according to PEMDAS, we need to work from left to right to solve. So the first step will be to take 6a plus 3a, which gives us 9a, right? Now we subtract 2a. 9a minus 2a gives us an answer of 7a. So our final answer is 7a. Let's try another. Let's simplify the expression 6a minus 2a plus 3a. Once again, we work from left to right according to the rules of PEMDAS. So 6a minus 2a gives us 4a. We still have plus 3a. 4a plus 3a gives us 7a's. Our answer is 7a. Now use your memory of PEMDAS to simplify each of these expressions. Don't forget to work from left to right. Press pause while you work and we have one final idea in chapter 5.2. Let's close out chapter 5.2 by learning to collect like terms to simplify algebraic expressions. This picture shows a distance from point A to point B. That distance has two different kinds of terms. It has A's and then it has numerals. In order to find the total distance from point A to point B, we need to collect all of our terms and add them together. So we're going to add a plus 4 plus a plus 2. That's going to equal, equal our total distance, correct? So the first thing we need to do is we need to collect our like terms and put them together. Now we can do that because of that commutative property of addition. Remember, it doesn't matter in what order we add the numbers because addition is addition. Uh, we can add a plus 4 or 4 plus a, and we're going to get the same answer. So what we're going to do is we're going to collect our a's, okay? And we're going to put them together, a plus a. Now we're going to collect our numbers, 4 plus 2. That makes it a lot easier to see what you need to do with your terms. Now we evaluate or solve. We have two a's plus 4 plus 2 is 6. So here is our final answer. The distance between point a and point b is 2a plus 
six. It seems like a weird answer, but there it is. Let's try another problem like this. Now let's evaluate 4x plus 6 minus 2x. This one's a little trickier because we have that minus sign in there, okay? So the first thing we need to do is get our like terms together. We need to put all the x's together and we need to put all the numbers together. So let's start by pulling out our 6 and putting it at the beginning. Then we're going to put plus 4x. How do we know it's a plus sign? Well, if there's nothing in front of the number here, you can assume there's an invisible plus sign, okay? It's positive. Now we subtract 2x, okay? We could also rearrange our numbers like this. We could start with our 4x, leaving it exactly where it is, and then we're going to move minus 2x right here. The minus sign stays stuck to the 2x. They have to move together. You can't move the 2x and not take the minus sign too. Then we move our plus 6 right here. Once again, the plus sign stays stuck to the 6. It moves with it. So whatever sign is to the left of your term sticks to your term and moves with it when you rearrange the equation to make it easier to solve. Okay, now let's evaluate. 4x's minus 2x's would give us 2x's plus 6. So the simplified version of 4x plus 6 minus 2x is 2x plus 6. Or you could also write it as 6 plus 2x. Doesn't matter. Commutative property of addition tells us it can go in either order. Let's close out this chapter with four practice problems for you to try. And here are those four practice problems. This wraps up chapter 5.2. When I see you tomorrow, we'll work more with simplifying algebraic expressions. Have a great night.